Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the MAX485 module from Maxim Integrated. This module is one of the most popular module in the market for RS485 communication. If you have used microcontrollers before, you might be familiar with UART, I2C, and SPI interfaces. These protocols work well over very short distance and when two devices are connected to each other using a very short wire. However, these communication protocols fail miserably when you try to increase the wire length. The data might get lost or corrupted and communication may stop working. Therefore, to communicate over long distance, we need a better communication protocol. This is where the RS-485 communication protocol comes in. Using this protocol, you can communicate reliably up to a distance of 1200 meters. There are many RS-485 communication enabled ICs like MAX-485, SN-75176, ST-485, ADM-485, MCP-2551, LT-1785, SP-3485, etc. For this tutorial, we will use the MAX485 IC as a reference tool to learn about RS485 communication with Arduino. We will learn how to use simplex, half duplex and full duplex communication. So, let's get started. Welcome back again. Let's see MAX485 IC in detail. The MAX485 IC is a low power transceiver designed for RS485 communication. It operates on a 5 volt power supply and features both differential signaling and high noise immunity, making it ideal for environments with significant electrical interference. The MAX485 can achieve communication speeds of up to 2.5 Mbps over distances of up to 1200 meters, providing reliable and efficient data exchange. This IC supports half-duplex communication, allowing data to be transmitted and received over a single pair of wires, though not simultaneously. It includes driver enable and receiver enable pins, which can be controlled to switch between transmitting and receiving modes. It's a half duplex driver with a unit load rating of 1 and therefore you can have up to 32 MAX485s on a single RS485 bus. First, let's learn about simplex communication. In simplex communication mode, data flows in a single direction between two devices, which means one device is exclusively a sender and the other is strictly a receiver. This setup is common in systems where only one-way information sharing is required, such as in some monitoring or data logging applications. Here is the connection diagram for simplex communication between two Arduino boards using the MAX485 module. On the transmitter side, the DI pin is connected to a transmitting data line from the microcontroller and the DE pin is set high to enable data transmission. The sender's RO and RE pins are generally not used in simplex mode. On the receiver side, the RO pin is connected to the receiving data line of the microcontroller. The RE pin is tied low to continuously enable the receiver, allowing it to accept transmitted data. The receiver's DI and DE pins are not utilized in simplex mode. Here is the sample transmitter and receiver code for this. We are using software serial for UART communication. Then we define the DERE pins. Then we create a software serial object to communicate with the MAX485. In the setup section, we initialize serial begin and RS485 begin function. We then set DE and RE pin as output pins. To enable transmission, we set these both pins to high. In the loop section, a random number is generated as a data. Using this write data function, we are sending the data over RS485. Similarly, on the receiver side, we define and set up the same thing as transmitter, but we set the DE and RE pin too low for enabling the receiving mode. In the loop section, if data is available, it will parse the data using serial read function. Then finally, the data is printed on serial screen. 
Now to test this code, upload the transmitter and receiver code to the respective Arduino board. Open the serial monitor. Here you will see some random data is transmitted and then same data is received by receiver. Here the communication is only one direction. Let's check another example. In this example, we have installed DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor on the transmitter side. Similarly, a 16 cross 2 I square C LCD is connected on the receiver side. We will transmit the DST11 sensor data over RS485. Here is the modified code for this. On the sender side, we include the DST library and define the DST pin. Under setup function, we initialize the DST sensor. In the loop section, we are continuously reading the DST sensor value and sending it over the RS485 bus. On the receiver side, we include and initialize the I2C LCD library. And under the loop section, the received data is pressed and printed on the LCD screen. After uploading the code to the respective Arduino board, here is the result. The DST11 is sending sensed temperature and humidity value and here it's displayed on the LCD. When you hit the sensor, you will observe a rise in the value of the sensor data. That's all from Simplex part. Now let's learn about the half duplex communication. In half duplex communication mode, data can flow in both directions between devices, but not simultaneously. This setup is common in systems where bidirectional information sharing is required. But only one device transmits at a time, such as in control or interactive systems. Here is the connection diagram for this mode. The circuit is same as the simplex communication circuit. The only difference is both Arduino works as a transmitter and receiver. Let's take a look at the code for this. The sender and receiver code is same here. In the setup section, we first assign the DE and RE as receiving mode by default by making them low. In the loop section, we first enable the DE and RE pin as high to switch to transmission mode. Then we send the data. Then again, we switch back to receiving mode. Similarly, to make it work as a receiver, we are again using the serial available command. The received data is printed on serial monitor. To make it work, upload some code to both the Arduino board. Now let's type some message from serial terminal and send it. So the sender has sent the data and here you can see it's successfully received by receiver. The same thing can be done from receiver side. The receiver will send the data and will be received by the sender. You may use this as a chat bot for data transmission. Let's look at the second example for half duplex communication too. In this second half duplex communication example, we will control the servo motor at the receiver end using the potentiometer at transmitter end. Also, the LED of transmitter will turn on off based on servo motor controlling. You may notice here I am directly using the TX RX pins here instead of software serial. This is due to fast response character of UART pins. We are using it directly. Let's take a look at the code now. In the center part, the transmitter code reads data from a potentiometer and maps it to the corresponding servo angle. It then sends this angle to the receiver over RS485 communication. Additionally, the transmitter receives sensor data from the receiver. Based on this received sensor data, it controls the built-in LED, turning it on or off depending on whether the data has reached a predefined threshold. The receiver code receives the servo angle from the transmitter and adjusts the servo position accordingly. It then reads the potentiometer value and sends this data back to the transmitter. After sending the data, the receiver waits for further commands. After uploading the code to the both Arduino board, the half duplex communication using MAX485 is ready to test. Rotate the potentiometer at the transmitter end. 
This will cause the servo motor at the receiver end to rotate to the corresponding angle. In response to this, the LED on the transmitter will turn on or off based on the feedback value received from the potentiometer at the receiver. Now, finally, let's see the full duplex communication. In full duplex communication mode, data can flow in both directions between devices simultaneously. This setup is common in systems where continuous bidirectional information sharing is required. The MAX485 IC is only designed to handle half duplex communication, means either it can transmit or receive data one at a time. To achieve full duplex communication in RS485 using the MAX485 IC, you need to use two MAX485 modules per device, one dedicated to transmitting and the other to receiving. This setup allows simultaneous two-way data transfer over two pairs of wires. Each device will use one pair of wires for transmitting data and another pair for receiving data, enabling both devices to communicate with each other in real time without waiting for the line to be clear. This code sets up full duplex communication using RS485, allowing both Arduino 1 and Arduino 2 to send and receive data simultaneously. The D, E, and R, E pins are used to control the transmission and reception modes of the MAX485 module. When data is available from the serial monitor, the code sets the D, E pin high to enable the driver and the R, E pin high to disable the receiver, allowing the Arduino to send data over the RS485 bus. After sending the data, the DE pin is set low to disable the driver and the RE pin is set low to enable the receiver. The code then checks if there is any data available on the RS485 bus. If data is available, it reads the data and prints it out to the serial monitor. Once the code is successfully uploaded to both boards, you can proceed with the testing phase. Open the serial monitor for each Arduino in the Arduino IDE. This will allow you to send and receive messages between two boards. Type a message into the serial monitor for each Arduino and press send button in the both serial monitors simultaneously. You will observe that message sent from serial monitor 1 is received by serial monitor 2 and vice versa. This confirms that the full duplex communication is working as intended. That's all from the tutorial part today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next.